The purpose of the lawsuit is twofold, Susanna. One is to get a protective order, which we have now gotten from Judge John Callahan, to preserve critical information which will answer questions about why this plane, one, took off, two, did not achieve takeoff speed and altitude, and three, crashed. The lawsuit is also to answer those questions on behalf of the passengers who have retained us and to provide a vehicle for compensation for their physical injuries and their emotional injuries. El abogado aseguró que necesitan conocer con qué información contaba el controlador del tráfico aéreo, la aerolínea y qué tanta información le proporcionaron al piloto antes de despegar, ya que desde antes los pasajeros pensaron que era ridículo despegar con ese clima. We have found that universally in talking with these people, they were all terrified when the plane attempted to take off, bounced down the runway, and eventually crashed into the wasteland, began to burn. The fuselage, the cabin, filled up with dark, acrid smoke to where people could not see their hands in front of their face. It was difficult to breathe. So they first felt, well, I survived a crash, and then they thought, now I'm going to die in the fire. And so they all want to know, was it the right decision to take off in this heavy storm? The plane itself was shaking because of the severe winds. There was pouring rain. And we want to find out, what did the pilot know? Did he know beforehand what the severe weather conditions are? Pilots are supposed to be able to take off and consider weather factors. But we need to preserve and protect that information, and that was the purpose of the protective order. Murphy nos aclaró que no se trata de una demanda colectiva porque las afectaciones en cada pasajero son únicas, por lo que va a haber múltiples demandas legales tanto en México como en Estados Unidos. E indicó que la mayoría de los casos los daños emocionales serán más graves que los físicos y que probablemente serán permanentes. Um, the damages are basically in two broad categories. One are, is the physical injuries, the broken bones, the burns suffered to the body, uh, the soft tissue injuries, things of that nature, injuries to the body themselves. The other broad category are emotional damages, and that is for the fright of, of believing that they're going to die, of the um, post-traumatic stress disorder that all of these people are going to develop. I have been involved in numerous multi Um, crash uh, scenarios and it has been my experience that people that do survive um, a crash such as this nature will develop post-traumatic stress en cuanto a la compensación económica que pedirán Aeroméxico, Murphy dijo que no pueden especular en una cantidad porque hasta el momento no saben la gravedad de los daños físicos ni emocionales, pero dijo que en otras ocasiones, en casos de este tipo, se han tenido que pagar montos bastante significativos. Indicó que debido a que la seguridad en la aviación comercial ha sido tan buena en los últimos años, necesitan y es muy importante conocer las causas del incidente. Uh, commercial carriers have had a um, tremendous uh, rate of success and safety um, since basically 1989 when the United Flight 232 crashed in uh, Sioux City, Iowa. Um, there have been some limited other uh, aviation um, crashes, but airline safety is typically very, very safe, and that is why Our clients are questioning the safety in this particular case. 
Hasta el viernes, el despacho de abogados no había tenido respuesta de la aerolínea, pero aseguró que están en espera, ya que Aeroméxico tiene tiempo para responder tanto legal como profesionalmente ante estas demandas. Además, dijo que al ser la seguridad algo crucial en las aerolíneas, seguramente la compañía Aeroméxico, tanto eh, Aeroméxico Connect, se encargarán de que en el futuro los despegues durante lluvias torrenciales se retrasen o se lleven a cabo de manera adecuada. Con esto hacemos una pausa, pero no olvide que pueda hacer contacto con nosotros a través de las redes sociales. En Twitter me encuentra como arroba su